Welcome on board another IFR flight in November 101 Delta Whiskey. You've just been watching us leave an extremely misty Cambridge airport behind, and we're flying to Lille in the north of France. As you join us, we're climbing out of Cambridge in the direction of a reporting point called Adnam, and we're talking to Essex radar waiting to get our clearance into controlled airspace. November 1 Delta Whiskey, turn right to think 165. Right turn head 165, 1 Departures from Cambridge almost never reach Adnam. In reality, they're always turned south a little bit ahead of time, as soon as the Stansted controller can find a suitable gap in his traffic. What he really wants to do is climb us as early as he possibly can into the London TMA and to hand us over to London Control. November 1 Delta Whiskey, Radar Control Service, report heading London Control 118.825. Radar Control heading for London 118.825, 1 Delta Whiskey, bye bye. London, good morning, November 101 Delta Whiskey with you. Climbing through flight level 67 to flight level 800, sorry, grade 0 rather, and we are on heading of 165. We've already seen that the flight planned route starts off by taking us from Cambridge to Adnam. After that, it calls for us to turn down to Deckling VOR before heading out towards Dover VOR. Now in reality, in the London TMA, most traffic spends most of its time being vectored. So as you've seen, we will not go near Adnam, and in reality we will probably pass close to South End before being turned towards Dover. There's almost no possibility that we will pass over Detling. The London control frequency that we've been talking to, 118.825, is responsible for departures from the northeast of the TMA. Once we get below the Thames, a different sector takes control. Hello, one Delta Whiskey, heading to London, 120.525, bye bye. 120.525 for the heading, one Delta Whiskey, thank you, bye bye. Bye 
London, good morning, November 101 Delta with QED, flight level 900, and we're on a heading of 165. Number 101 Delta Whiskey, thanks. November 101 Delta Whiskey, receive a notification to Rinty. I have now for Rinty, you want Delta Whiskey? That's good. Direct routing to Rinty from just south of the Thames is really good news. It completely cuts out Detling and in fact cuts out Dover from our route. Rinty is a point that sits on the zone boundary between UK airspace and French airspace. This clearance paves the way for us to be handed over to French air traffic control, something that often happens while you're still over England. On this flight, the handover occurred just south of Canterbury. November 101 Delta Whiskey calls tax Leo on 120.275. Leo 120.275, 1205 Whiskey, bye bye. Leo Bonjour, November 101 Delta Whiskey with you. Flight level 90 direct Rinty. November 101 Delta Whiskey, bonjour, uh, route uh, uh, to Charlie Mike Bravo, expect uh, an LS Zulu 26. Prison position direct to the Charlie Mike Bravo, we're expecting the IRS CD26, one Delta Whiskey. Charlie Mike Bravo is a VOR beacon on the same airway that contains Rinty and Tracker. So in fact, being routed to Charlie Mike Bravo doesn't result in any major change in course. We've also been told that we're going to be flying the ILS-26 Zulu variation. The Zulu variation is designed for aircraft that are fully RNAV capable. The X-ray and Yankee version are for those with older style equipment on board. On that subject, a number of you have asked for a bit of a tour of the glass panel. So here we go. The MD-302 is the uh, standby instrument you can see on the left. That is completely self-contained and runs on its own battery system. Next to it is the centrepiece of the panel, which is a Garmin G500 TXI. This is the uh, latest variation of the G500 series and it runs completely as a touchscreen. As you can see, I have uh, full synthetic vision and mapping and engine instrumentation all on one 10.5 inch panel. To the right of that, you have the main navigation instrument, which is a GTN 750 navigator. This is a full WAS compatible GPS, but it also contains NAV and COM radios, and it acts as a front end for a GTX 345R transponder, fully ADSB capable. You can see it currently displaying traffic mode. And on the right, a dependable GNS 430W as a backup GPS, and a King DME because it's still a useful thing to carry on board. The autopilot's a king system that includes a flight director. In addition to all of the usual autopilot functions, the king system will accept roll steering commands from the GPS, allowing fully coupled RNAV approaches to be flown. While we've been talking, the flight's been progressing. We've been routed direct towards Oslid, which is one of the starting points for the ILS approach. We're also about to be handed over to the Lille Approach Controller, who will look after us pretty much until touchdown. November 101 Delta Whiskey, contact uh, Lille Approach 126475. 126475, one Delta Good morning, November 101 Delta Whiskey with you. Flight level 80, routing direct to Oslid. November 101 Delta Whiskey, bonjour, you are number 2 for Dialyze Zulu 26 and uh, report uh, ready for further descent. November 101 Delta Whiskey, number 2, and we're ready for descent when you are. Okay, um, I could be back uh, within uh, 3 minutes to continue the descent. So. November Delta Whiskey, descend uh, 5,000 feet, change uh, 1008. Send altitude 5,000 feet, 1008. Whiskey.
So we're flying an ILS Zulu approach for runway 26 via Oslid. If you notice on the chart, we are supposed to be somewhere between 2,000 feet and 4,000 feet to Oslid before then descending down to 2,000 feet to commence the final part of the procedure. So far we've been cleared down to 5,000 feet, so before we get down to Oslid, we're going to be looking to drop by at least another 1,000 feet. On this occasion, the controller let us get almost all the way to Oslid without dropping us. Number one, Delta Whiskey, altitude 5,000 feet, need to confirm we're clear for the approach. Delta Whiskey, descend 2,000 feet, catch 1,008, clear dial Zulu, uh, 26. 2,000 feet, 1,008, and clear for the pilot approach, the Zulu for runway 26, one Delta Whiskey. Great, Delta Whiskey, and contact tower 11855, over the site. Tower 11855, thanks, help, bye-bye. Fox, you get golf and downwind to six. Jet golf to number one for runway two six and uh, report to establish uh, final two six. Fox, you get golf number one to two six report. Good morning, November one zero one Delta with you. Descending through four thousand eight hundred feet, two thousand four thousand two foot, and we've been cleared to the approach. So November Delta with you calling. Hey, fam, we're. Uh, just about to turn at Oslid, descending through 4,600 feet. November 1, you're on Delta Whiskey. Bonjour, you're number 2 for runway 26. Report is savage uh, final. Number 2, OK, 1 Delta Whiskey. So having arrived at Oslid, we're now turning left to head to Olbus, whilst descending to 2,000 feet. And at Olbus, we'll turn left again to establish on the localizer down to the runway. November 101 Delta Whiskey is localized and established 26. Delta Whiskey, uh, you're now number one, traffic proceeding, uh, DA40 on the runway, I call you back. Number one, one Delta Whiskey. Rotia 25, Bravo Papa, contact, uh, approach 126, 475, bye. 126, 475, just out of Rotia 25, Bravo Papa. November 101, Delta Whiskey, clear to land runway 26, wind 140 degrees, 5 knots. Runway 26, clear land, November 1, Delta Whiskey. Red York, front of right, I would in 26, so uh, full stop, uh, and uh, we're there for the traffic, uh, 26. Roger, Fox, uh, Juliet Golf, so you're number 2, so behind the traffic, report. Uh, Turning uh, on final. Number two, report on uh, turning final on 26. Uh, Les tours Fabi 62, bonjour. Fabi 62, bonjour. Minimums. Minimums. I think it'd be good to see it now. We would probably want to go around. Samu 62, le QNH 1008, 130 degrés 3 nœuds sur les quins, euh, pour croiser les axes right. rapidement, mais à l'ouest de ce clin, basse altitude, et rappeler les axes dégagés. Ok, on croise les axes à l'ouest de ce clin, basse altitude, on reste en dessous de 800 pieds, et on rappelle axes dégagés, ça met sans bord, la coquille 1008, le QNH. Number 101 Delta Whiskey, first right Tango 4. First right on Tango 4, 1 Delta Whiskey. Well, that's it for another video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you want to know how much it costs to land at Lille, stay tuned, it's coming up right now.